welcome to Love Always Self. I'm Shira. Howdy, howdy, (laughs) y'all. I'm Karista. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Love Always Self. We hope your day is going beautifully so far. And if not, I hope this podcast shines some light onto your day. Ooh. we're not from texas choose to take it away with y'all <laughs> yeehaw oh my gosh that was so funny <laughs> so uh this morning i was sitting down just to meditate and think about what uh we could provide on the show today and i sat and asked mount glass uh, masters teachers guides loved ones angels self and source what does the collective need to hear today And the first thought that popped into my mind was, well, where your energy goes, no, where your focus is, your energy flows. Uh, So where is your attention today? What are you focused on? Are you focused on the what ifs? Oh man, uh, today's going to be a tough day at work or, you know, what if this goes wrong or what if this person tries to cut me off? Hmm you know, whatever, (laughs) Uh, whatever the what if is, or are you in a space of curiosity of what can I create today? What does this oyster of a world have in store for me? And how am I going to see it? Oh, the oyster. That's good. (laughs) So in diving deeper to this thought, you know, I was just sitting there thinking about some like specific examples of this, like, um, how, how, when we, okay. I know that I (laughs) have a tendency to do this, right. I tend to read a lot. And a lot of that reading goes, uh, into reading news stories and, Sometimes I try not to, and sometimes I take a break, but when I am not on a break from the news, I spend some time doing that. And sometimes that can get a little overwhelming and Mm -hmm. we can start to go into fear-based thinking, Yeah, become fearful of, again, the what ifs, uh, especially during this time and space. Uh, you know, elections, I think now should have passed. And uh, at least when this episode airs, it should have. And there's a lot of social issues that we are deeply divided on as a country. And so there's a lot of fear around what kind of freedoms we're going to lose or what freedoms can we gain is the hopeful Mm. thought, right? Right. And, you know, when we when we read those, I'm just going to use the news articles as an example. When we read those news articles, we are giving more attention to them, assisting in the creation of those realities. And so we are empowering those, you know, uh, situations, those events, those fear-based thoughts. So we actually have the choice. Surprise. We never talk about choice. (laughs) We have the choice to decide, you know, are we going to give more space and time and energy to those scary, negative, depressing, you know, lower energy things, or are we going to take note of those things and say, you know what, that's not what I want to create, but I will use that to guide me in creating what I do want to experience. Mm. I get all these, uh, emotional responses is what I'm going to call it Mm -hmm. to like when somebody tells you, you know, don't, well, just don't think about that. Right. And, and we all know it doesn't magically disappear because you're not thinking about it. It is still (laughs) present. It is still going on, but are you going to feed it? Are you going to, are you going to be a contributor to Mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's where you're going, right? Like, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like like not contributing to it, embodying what it is and what you'd like to see and do and be and feel. Yes. Choosing to not actively participate in the creation of a negative outcome. Mm. Because it will actually create that. uh, What's that word? I'm always weird with words, especially after I've been channeling. (laughs) Like. (laughs) human words <laughs> perpetuate yeah. uh yeah you know like it gives it more 
oomph. It adds to it, right? It it starts to add and build and grow. And then now all of a sudden, what was only five people maybe thinking this way, it's like thousands. Mm-hmm. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And our thoughts are powerful. Mm. So when we recognize, you know, there's, there's a difference between rumination and evaluation, right? Yeah. So that's a good one. yeah. Uh, when, when you're purposely working through a thought and evaluating, well, why am I thinking like this? What is this rooted in? How can I heal this? That's different than, oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Or what could I have done different? Or I could be better or what should I be doing? Yeah. 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 The rabbit hole is deep there. So, um, you know, when we recognize that we're ruminating, (laughs) you're right telling ourselves not to think about it creates the aspect of thinking about not thinking about it, which right. is then thinking about it. So <laughs> conundrum. Um, so when we don't like something, we try to limit our attention towards it. We try to stop bringing it back into our awareness. And then we shift our focus onto what we want to create. Right. You know, I was thinking about um, when I was jotting this down in my journal this morning, I was thinking about this experience that I had, uh, during, uh, a pedicure. So I was getting a pedicure and, uh, older woman started talking about the, the downfall of our society and how she's glad she's not going to be around for much longer because, Aww. you know, everything's going to hell in a handbasket kind of thing. Aww. And I was like, damn, wow. Okay. And then it got me thinking like, wait, so you want to see something different, but you're not willing to be that something different. <laughs> Ooh. So here we're going to shift into taking responsibility for what we want to see in this world. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I know. <laughs> responsibility. <laughs> That's a so, tough pill to swallow too. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, but again, you know, we can utilize these instances to help us in creating what we want to experience. So as an example, I want world peace, (laughs) right? Um, yeah, that's wonderful. But what are you doing to create that? Yeah. Are you expecting everybody else around you to create this world peace? And then you're like, oh, goody, now it's time to play in this. Or are you actively attempting to create that peace in your life and then it'll spread outward. Mm -hmm. And we talk about this because we are love always self Mm -hmm. and we believe that everything in our external starts with us. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to perpetuate sadness, the turmoils, the bad things, all the things that are going on in this world, right? Or on this planet. Because I mean, just think about this. And I I get this like vision and I'm just like, oh, you think of like, uh, like when you're seeing this on like a a YouTube cutscene video or in a commercial or like on an ad and they have like this globe of the planet, right? And then around the planet, you see this like electrical net around Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. right and just imagine at every connection of the net it's us it's us individually Mm -hmm. and if one person's light just shines a little brighter and then it illuminates towards the rest of the net and then the next person gets impacted by that and then the Mm -hmm. next person and the next person and now we are actively creating a place that we all want to play in (laughs) full body chills (laughs) <laughs> and yes, that is a perfect visualization. I love that one. Cause yes, we are all interconnected and that is a perfect res- representation of the butterfly effect too. Mm-hmm. What we do in our own lives, in our own self, you know, our view of ourself and our view of our immediate surroundings will impact the next person and expand beyond that. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned that our external reality is a reflection of our internal reality. Yeah. So again, it starts with us practicing that kindness, that compassion, that tolerance, that understanding, the releasing of judgment with ourselves 
and with the immediate people around us, thus creating that butterfly effect, expanding beyond us. Right. So, um, what do you want to see in the world? I want world peace. <laughs> Truly. I mean, idealistic. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> Some of us have to be. <laughs> I have a pretty large pipe dream. I'm not going to lie. And I don't even think it's a pipe dream. I think it'll be a reality on this planet eventually. I'm not sure if I'll be here to see it, but I might be somewhere else to still see it. Right. So I choose to come back. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> so, uh, I, I would say that my, my personal dream for all of us is that we are not paying uh, towards things that are, that I feel like should be free for us. Right. I, I think would... our monetary system is going to be revamped completely. Yeah. Bring it on, dude. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's so much stress in how do we continue to survive for basic needs? Mm -hmm. Right. There's so much stress towards that. And a lot of us are making decisions that are actively embracing it, mm -hmm. that this is just, it's always it been this way. And so this is the way it needs to continue to be. I argue that it's always been this way. Exactly. It hasn't always been this way. No, every <laughs> couple of, you know, what, hundred, couple of hundred years, like things are constantly evolving and right. changing completely. Right. So it's just that thought process though, you know, that, uh, that sometimes individuals hold on to and not realizing that it is actually perpetuating it mm -hmm. and that they're becoming a part of the problem versus the solution. Yeah. So yeah, I agree with you that this belief of, oh, this is just how it is, is in a way that is us taking ourselves out of the creator role and mm -hmm. into the victim role. Right. And mm -hmm. sometimes, sometimes that's easier to play the victim, but I would argue that it's more peaceful because it's yeah. not. Exactly. You and I are on the same page, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want love to be your experience, Start with loving self and loving those around you. If you want peace to be your experience, step out of the chaos, create that sacred space, find the peace within, learn to stand in that peace amongst chaos. That's the yeah. tough one. <laughs> it is a tough one. <laughs> you see hate and anger and fear spreading, but you don't want that in yourself. So you practice love, you practice compassion and joy. You speak that you are that you personify that so that those around you get to experience that. And then they start questioning, how can I actively participate and bring that into my reality. Yeah. You and that's are a powerful being. Yeah. It doesn't require the entire world to join together in, you know, one agreement to create this thing. It starts with you and your reality in this moment with yourself. I love <laughs> that get it. <laughs> and, and I want to contribute to a betterment of all that is right. And how do I do that? How do I contribute to a betterment of all that is like, I want everyone that's listening to this podcast to like literally think about this for just a second. What Carrie just said is very vital to the process that we try to help others achieve, right? And I'm not saying that you have to be in this little space 24 seven because it's not reality for us to be in a third dimensional space, experiencing polarity on a planet of nothing but polarity 
is not reality to never st- dip your toes in this uh, icky situation, right? Mm-hmm. However, do you want to stay there? Mm-hmm. Do you want to increase it? Do you want to make it worse? Or can you find it within yourself and acknowledge that sometimes, most of the time, probably all the time, you have a choice. <laughs> Not... 100% of the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know I was just being you know funny but still <laughs> trying to help others get there you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, like sometimes yeah. I need that my own self pep talk absolutely <laughs> but but you have each have our own yeah choice our own responsibility our own path as creators so whether you're choosing to create a more positive experience or not you're still choosing yeah even if you're not actively making a choice standing by and letting something pass you by is still a choice mm. and you <laughs> and you and and you still have a choice on whether or not you want to participate <laughs> so exactly but if you're if you're going to increase the thought process of nothing will ever change, but you don't want to be active in the change, that's different. Then you're right. Nothing will change. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so where is your attention? What are you focused on? Where do you want your energy to flow? What do you want to create? These are all your choices. These are all your responsibility for the life that you're creating. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear our, our podcast editor, I don't even know how many bloopers she's probably collected from at this point. This is what episode 78. <laughs> We've Something only like done that, one yeah. bloopers reel. I am looking forward to the next one. <laughs> yes, yes. We should definitely get on that. <laughs> so speaking of something that you want to create, I want to ask you guys, what kind of space do you want to live in? Yeah. Well, what kind of, yes, inside your home, are you feeling, you know, like claustrophobic? Are you feeling scattered? Are you feeling like you just want a, a space that speaks peace and joy and, and just a you? space where you can just be? <sighs> Come check us out at Divine Living. Yes, <laughs> <Style before. laughs> where we help create your sacred space. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And that is divine living style decor.com. And we're pretty stoked about it. If you haven't listened to our previous episode, we have launched our additional business that mm-hmm. we are pure creators for. And it is it's interior decorating and styling. Um, and we help people create your own personal sacred spaces, Uh, not just for, you know, a room in your home, but we can do a whole house and we're super stoked to do all of these fun things and just positively impact you in your own personal spaces. So Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, check us out. Yep. We do our consultations over Zoom. So Mm -hmm. anywhere in the U.S., you are eligible to meet with us. So again, we can provide guidance through that consultation and we can take it all the way to helping order all of your home decor needs. Yeah. Want a vibe board? Want a mood board? Would you like a a mock-up? You want a 2D design, which is actually going to give you a 3D design? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> in this third dimensional reality we're living in. <laughs> oh, righty. Thank you so much, guys. We love you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And also, if you're listening on Apple iTunes, please uh, give us a little rating. The, all of these things help us to grow and reach more people across the world. And that's all we want to do is just create more love because world peace. <laughs> I love it. I can pull up my Miss America <laughs> and just wave it away. Uh-huh. I would be terrible at that. All righty, guys, take this love and spread it around. And don't forget to love first, love last.
and love always. <laughs> this is fate. All right. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Hey, listener, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us in this moment. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we look forward to our next connection. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow to stay notified of new content from Love Always Self. If you have any questions or topics you'd like for us to discuss, please hit us up on any of our social media platforms linked in the show notes below. I'm Karista. And I'm Shira. And until next time, remember to love first, love last, and love always. Love Always Self Podcast is meant for entertainment purposes only. We do not make any warranties about the completeness, reliability, and accuracy of the information presented in this podcast. Any action you choose to take upon the information in this podcast is strictly done so at your own risk, and we will not be held liable for any losses and damages in connection with the use of our podcast. Any and all medical concerns should be addressed with a licensed healthcare provider, as well as any questions that may be derived from the information discussed in this podcast.